tiny tails the owls lost wisdom once in a quiet forest there lived a wise old owl everyone in the forest respected him for his wisdom but one day something strange happened the owl woke up and felt different oh no where is my wisdom the owl wandered he felt lost and confused the owl flew to his friend the squirrel help me find my owl's wisdom clever and wise owl's wisdom help me find my owl's wisdom wise owl's wisdom he said the squirrel laughed and said maybe you left it in your dreams owl <laughs> feeling sad the owl flew to see the rabbit help me find my owl's wisdom clever and wise owl's wisdom help me find my owl's wisdom wise owl's wisdom he said the rabbit giggled and said maybe you dropped it while flying the owl felt even more sad and flew away then he saw a wise old tortoise sitting by the pond help me find my owl's wisdom clever and wise owl's wisdom help me find my owl's wisdom wise owl's wisdom said the owl dear owl wisdom is not something you can lose like a feather wisdom comes from knowledge and learning you just need to remember what you have learned the owl sat with the tortoise and listened the tortoise shared stories and lessons from his long life as the owl listened he felt his wisdom returning he realized how much he had learned from his friends and from reading books thank you tortoise you have helped me remember the importance of knowledge and learning said the owl the tortoise nodded and said never stop learning owl knowledge is valuable and makes you wise the owl flew back to his tree feeling wise once again he knew that he must always seek knowledge and never stop learning the moral of the story is knowledge is valuable the end the fox lost tail once in a beautiful forest there lived a clever fox his tail was fluffy and proud and he loved it very much one morning the fox woke up and was shocked to see that his tail was missing oh no where is my fluffy tail cried the fox he walked around the forest asking his friends for help first he met a squirrel help me find my fox tail thick and fluffy fox tail help me find my fox tail fluffy fox tail the squirrel giggled and said i don't know where your tail is maybe you lost it while chasing mice <laughs> feeling sad the fox continued on his way next he met a rabbit help me find my fox tail thick and fluffy fox tail help me find my fox tail fluffy fox tail the rabbit laughed and said I haven't seen your tail maybe you dropped it in the river The fox felt even more sad and continued to walk Then he met a wise raccoon Help 
me find my fox tail thick and fluffy fox tail help me find my fox tail fluffy fox tail the raccoon smiled and said don't worry fox we can find it together use your clever mind to remember where you last had it the fox thought hard i remember i was playing near the big oak tree yesterday the raccoon and the fox went to the big oak tree there they found the fox tail caught on a branch the raccoon said see fox sometimes you need to use your intelligence to solve problems the fox was so happy thank you raccoon you are very smart the fox put his tail back on and it fit perfectly he felt complete again from that day on the fox remembered to always use his cleverness to solve problems and he never lost his thick and fluffy tail again the moral of the story is cleverness can solve problems the end the lions lost roar once in a jungle there lived a mighty lion one day the lion woke up and realized that he had lost his roar he felt very sad and worried he started singing help me find my lion's roar mighty mighty lion's roar help me find my lion's roar mighty lion's roar first he met the monkey monkey can you help me i have lost my lion's roar the monkey laughed and said you look so funny without your roar the monkey didn't help next the lion saw a parrot parrot can you help me i have lost my lion's roar the parrot squawked and said you sound so funny and different without your roar the parrot didn't help either feeling very sad the lion kept walking until he saw a wise old owl sitting in a tree owl can you help me i have lost my lion's roar the owl smiled kindly and said of course i can help you you need to believe in yourself your roar is still inside you the lion closed his eyes and took a deep breath he thought about being strong and brave then he opened his mouth and let out a mighty roar it was louder and stronger than ever before thank you owl thank you for helping me find my lion's roar mighty lion's roar said the lion feeling very happy and confident The moral of the story is confidence comes from within the end The giraffe's short neck Once in a sunny savanna there lived a tall giraffe with a long neck His name was Gary Gary was very proud of his long neck because it helped him reach the tasty leaves at the top of the trees One morning Gary woke up and felt very strange. He looked at himself and saw that his neck had become short. Gary felt very different and was very sad. He said, "Help me find my giraffe's neck. Long long giraffe's neck. Help me find my giraffe's neck. Long giraffe's neck." He cried as he wandered through the savanna. Gary went to the other animals for help. 
First, he saw a zebra. Zebra, have you seen my long neck? Gary asked. The zebra laughed and said, Gary, you look so funny with a short neck. Felix said, Gary walked away and found an elephant. Elephant, have you seen my long neck? He asked. Elephant chuckled and said, Gary, you look very different now. Gary felt even sadder. Then he met with a kind turtle. Turtle, have you seen my long neck? Gary asked, hoping for help. Turtle looked at Gary with kind eyes and said, Gary, you are special just the way you are. Your neck does not change how wonderful you are inside. Gary thought about what Turtle said. He realized that even with short neck, he was still Gary. He asked to feel better and thanked Turtle for her kind words. As days passed, Gary noticed something amazing. His neck started to grow longer and longer. Each day, it grew a little more. Gary learned an important lesson. He knew now that being different was okay and that he was special no matter what. So children, the moral of the story is embrace your uniqueness. You are special just the way you are. The end. The Lost Zebra Stripes Once in a jungle, there lived a happy zebra. One day, he slipped and fell into a big muddy puddle. When he got up, his beautiful black and white stripes were gone. He felt sad and confused. He started singing. Help me find my zebra stripes, black and white zebra stripes. Help me find my zebra stripes, black and white zebra stripes. First, he met a monkey. Monkey, can you help me? I have lost my zebra stripes. The monkey laughed and said, You look so funny without your stripes. The monkey didn't help. Next, the zebra saw a parrot. Parrot, can you help me? I have lost my zebra stripes. The parrot squawked and said, You look so different without your stripes. The parrot didn't help either. Feeling sad, the zebra kept walking until he saw an elephant taking a bath in a lake. Elephant, can you help me? I have lost my zebra stripes. The elephant smiled and said, Of course, I can help you. The elephant filled his trunk with water and sprayed the zebra. The water washed away all the mud. The zebra looked at himself and saw his beautiful black and white stripes again. He was so happy. Thank you, elephant. Thank you for helping me find my zebra stripes. Black and white zebra stripes said the zebra, dancing with joy. The moral of the story is, a true friend helps you when you need it the most. The end. Like and subscribe to Tiny Tales for more videos like this.